Hello there and welcome to another Stubwood video. Today I will be reviewing one of my all time favourite roller coasters, Blue Fire at Europa Park. This is the first Mac launch roller coaster to be built and I love this thing to bits and this is going to be my review. So, for those of you who don't know, Bluefire was very high on my bucket list for roller coasters in Europe, and I was quite hyped to ride it, and I did not come away displeased, however saying that, this ride definitely surprised me in ways that I was not previously expecting. For one, this ride's presentation is superb, I think that colour scheme works really well and it must be very intimidating for the GP seeing this twisted blue track metal going in and out, it's really impressive, I just can't describe how good it looks, especially at night looking at that huge vertical loop, lit up this roller coaster is very very impressive. As with all the other rides at Europa Park, the queue line is very well done, lots of theming, some very nice fountains towards the beginning and some great photo opportunities that really make this ride stand out for me. Now the station of the ride is intricately themed, I sadly didn't manage to get any footage of it but there's lots of gas and electronic related items whilst you're in the station also the soundtrack is pumping and it just sounds great, definitely one of my favourite soundtracks ever. It's just so immersive and I love it to pieces. Blue Fire does have a front row queue and I highly recommend going on the front row for your first go for reasons I will explain later. Once you've been dispatched, which by the way Europa Park's dispatch times are very very fast, you then go through this very well done themed area with animatronics, lights and it looks so darn impressive, really immersive stuff here guys. Whilst this is going on, you also have the soundtrack once again blasting out. Then you come to a complete stop before danger signs light up and animatronics pull levers. The doors open in front of you and you launch. Now, I don't particularly think the launch is bad on Blue Fire. You definitely feel more of a kick than it than on Icon, for example. But it's not the most forceful of experiences that you'll get on a launch roller coaster. I mean, it's great still and the anticipation built up in the previous few minutes of you getting on the ride and the soundtrack blasting, your heart's beating really fast and you feel so hyped up. After the launch, the rest of the layout is unique to say the least. What I think Blue Fire does well by far is its inversions. Most of them are forceful and the final roll has got to be one of my favourite inversions on a roller coaster ever. Such an insane inversion, lots of width and by far the highlight of the ride for me. Some other elements include a very odd turnaround that I don't really see the point in, but you know, it's there. It gives some okay amount of sidewards hang time, it's not great, but you know, whatever. Also you have the huge vertical loop described earlier, which is quite forceful going in and out, and there's a good head chopper moment before you go in. It's actually really cool, that's why I like the front row so much on this roller coaster. A stengel dive, which is also quite forceful, a twisted horseshoe roll, a small turnaround, and a very minor airtime hill that does not give you any airtime, or at least very little. Also, a mid-course brake run that is so awkwardly placed, like you have about three elements before it and it really kills the speed. It's quite different to Silver Stars, which doesn't do anything at all. On Blue Fires, it does, and it slows you down by quite a bit. But you know, Bluefire was the prototype, so not everything would be perfect. Another thing to note is that it also speeds up the operations, so they can launch and dispatch trains much quicker than other roller coasters in the park. Another thing I really want to address is the amount of rock work surrounding the ride. It gives some great near miss elements as described with the vertical loop, but there's also some near the twisted horseshoe roll and other parts of the ride. It really, really helps to your overall ride experience, which is something I think more modern roller coasters lack. To conclude, I do enjoy Blue Fire as a whole. Yes, it has its dead moments, but you know, it was a prototype, so that's what you're going to expect. It's definitely a must do ride at Europa Park, and one of the best roller coasters out there that focuses on ride and theme. 
honestly an epic roller coaster, and without it, we wouldn't have something like Helix, Copperhead Strike, Icon, all these great Mac multi launch roller coasters. So, we have a lot to thank from Mac for building such a revolutionary roller coaster type. You've been watching Stubwood, please consider subscribing and supporting the channel. I have a recommended video to you guys on the left, and also my Europa Park Christmas review on the right. Have a fantastic day everybody, and I'll see you all in the next video.